Hi guys, welcome to another session of Malaysian Barbecue and Grill. This is a special partnership series in uh, with uh, Tourism Malaysia Nordics, which is conducted in both English and Swedish. Uh, guys, make sure you say hello and let us know where you're watching from. Very, very exciting to have this session. And today we have uh, Sata by Elias Mohammed over in the Netherlands. But before I bring everyone on screen, just let me play a quick clip from Tourism Malaysia and we'll come back and talk a little bit more in 30 seconds. Hey guys, back again and again, make sure you say hello, let us know where you're watching from. And I have uh, Nasha Abdullah, who is the Director of Tourism Malaysia Nordics with us. Nasha, great to have you. Hi Jackie. Nice Hi. to be part of this exciting project again. I'll say a few words in Swedish. Eftersom det här är ju nu den svenska versionen av Jackies och hennes kockar här. Vi välkomnar Elias i Kuala Lumpur. Och vi har Eli som kommer att översätta till svenska. Och vi ska laga sata som är en av mina favoriter, en fiskrätt här i eh, Stockholm. Så jag hoppas att ni alla är redo. Och här kör vi. Thank you, Jackie. Thanks, uh, Nasha. Great to see you. Okay. And let me just uh, bring the other people on. Here we go. First of all, I'll bring on Elias's layout. Look at how amazing it is. And of course, we have Elias in the Netherlands. Elias is a talented artist. Malaysian artist based in the Netherlands. And then we have the other Elias. We're going to call him Eli today. Uh, Elias is going to be doing the hosting and he's going to be doing it in Swedish. Again, guys, make sure you say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. And don't forget to hit us up with any questions that Eli can ask Elias during the session, okay? Um, Eli, I'm going to let you take it away. And all the best, guys. And I'll come back and join you towards the end. Thank you, Jackie. Oh, okay. Kväll alla samma. Hej Eli. Hej Eli. Yeah. Good evening uh, from you? Amsterdam. Yeah. Uh, good I'm evening very good. from Germany. Yeah, I'm very excited. Yes, great, great. Um, oh, so uh, jag pratar svenska. Min mamma är svensk och uh, nu ska jag uh, kolla på lite och snacka lite mer på svenska. Så fråga gärna på svenska. Jag bara kommer att prata med uh, Elias här och övsa lite. Och uh, annars ha en god kväll. Uh, hoppas uh, ni är inte är för hungrig för nu kommer det bli gott. So, Elias, what are we doing today? All right, uh, I'm introducing a special fish, uh, fish recipe from uh, the uh, east coast of Malaysia, is Trondano State, and uh, I'm using uh, herring fish. Uh, and if you guys don't like herring, you can pick any type of fish. That suits your uh, suits your taste, yeah. Um, but in in Trungano, Malaysia, we particularly use this kind of uh, herring family, which is uh, very tasty and uh, is, has uh, quite a bit of fat and very suitable to make sata. Um, okay. So uh, I will first show all the ingredients we need uh, to prepare okay. sata. Uh, I have I have already cleaned um, 450 gram of uh, herring here. Okay, so and, det där är uh, det sil. Vi har lite sil här. Uh, nu måste jag alltid tänka på uh, guldbordet hemma. Um, men nu ska det bli en malaysisk variant. Och, men han sa också att det måste inte vara sil. Det kan vara nästan vilken fisk som helst. Men den här är ju supergod och fräst han. Okay, and then we need fresh grated coconut. And I'm using about 150 gram of this. I, I bought uh, this really fresh coconut from one of the local supermarkets here. Okay, so this is a fresh coconut that I've raspled and hemmed fresh from the uh, store today. 
Uh, and then I have to fresh uh, red, uh, red onion. I'm going to use just about one and a half of this. Hey, Josephine then, from uh, Toronto. And then I have um, uh, galandal. I'm just going to use about one centimeter of this and I will mash it very finely. Okay, so the galangal. I don't know if you all know this. It's a little bit like ingefär. And I'm going to ask him if he can use it. Ilyas, if uh, galangal is like, if it's not easy to find every time, uh, do you, is it able to substitute for this dish with uh, ginger? Uh, no, no, it's not uh, no. suitable for uh, ginger. Um, you can buy the powder one as well. Eh? This is widely, uh, uh, if you go to any Asian supermarket, you can get, if you can't get the fresh one, the root, you can just buy the powder. It's just okay. melting. Oh, okay. So the point is that we can use it here instead, but... Uh, Om ni inte får fräsch galangal så är det kan man hämta pudret som finns i många asiatiska affärer. Uh, all right, and then uh, I have uh, small chili, a mix of red and um, green one. This is what very spicy, so be careful if you don't don't like too spicy, just use less than this. Yeah, I'm going to use about 10 of this for 450 gram uh, fish. Okay, det måste ni inte göra hemma. Alltså, han, han är ju malaysisk, han äter ju mycket, mycket chili. Så att, ni kan också ta uh, mildare eller mindre. Det går ju också bra. And here I have uh, shrimp paste. This is optional. So if you don't like it, you don't have to use it. Ja, ja det, det är typiskt, typiskt malaysisk att använda som past. Men, uh, um, alltså... Ärligt, det borde man prova. Om ni verkligen har ett autentiskt malaysisk smak så är det definitivt uh, de där shrimp paste. And here I have uh, tamarind paste. This is locally made, yeah? it's from Holland, Holland products. Uh, okay. But you can cool. also use fresh one and boil it a little bit and then squeeze and get the juice out of a tamarind. But this oh, is that's like already completely, the, all the steps have been done. Um, and then I will use uh, I will use fresh citron uh, as well. Just about half of it. Just get the juice out of it. And was then it, I, I, um, was it lemon? Oh, lemon. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We, sorry, we call I, it Holland. Don't, don't jump out. So, yeah. Sorry. I'm so used to call it citron in Holland. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then I use um, I use um, oh, what do you call it? And then the parsley. No, you can you can use parsley or you can use the and coriander. Sorry, the I, coriander. I have, I have coriander. So it's optional. Yeah, any any anything that suits your taste, you can you can add in. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Oh, make sure it's done. Also, the day you call it, the new summer also, the unwind, the the shell man, you, the the many some sort of calendar unwind. Oh, but I'm so precise that you can also yana unwind the persilia, on the day you hold another one crudda. Okay, and then last but not least is coconut milk, and I prefer to use Tara brand because it's very thick and it's it's not like other brand. So, uh, uh, just use about half tin of this for 450 gram. Okay, nu använder han ju ska han ha kokosmjölk och han sa precis att det är ganska viktigt att ha tjock och det förstår jag. Alltså mycket affärer när man börjar köpa kokosmjölk så är det lite vattrigt och det är lite sådär. Men nu är det bara tjock och sen blir god också. Det är ju curry och så väldigt gott med en sån tjock kokosmjölk. Thank you very much. Hi Abang, Din, where are you from? Nice you're joining. Uh, and then I'm going to start with um, uh, mixing the, the feet and I will cut it into uh, small pieces first. Okay, now I'm going to cut up the meat in small pieces. And then I'm going to use uh, this mixer so that it's easier. 
Okay, so, uh, are you going to put it in the blender? Yes. Ah, okay. Han uh, ska, han ska, alltså det är inte bara, han ska inte bara skära upp dem lite små som ska också verkligen blandas ordentligt, som det ser ut. And then we'll add a bit of uh, chocolate milk, yeah? Just bit by bit. Ja, uh, so nu är det heller lite smörk. Då blir det ju också lite uh, enklare att blanda, så blir det inte så rosigt. Då blir det en, en fin fast började bruka. Jo, det hjälper ju alltid att ha lite vätska när man purerar och blandar ihop allting. Hallå, Nazarin. Hallå, vi kan hjälpa. Good evening from Cape Town. Hope you're enjoying the show. I'm talking to the chats. Greetings from Holland, from Salsa Bila. I hope I pronounced that. Hi, how are you? Thanks for watching. All right, this one is very flexible. Yeah, I like to use this uh, because it, it will blend all the bones as well. Okay, okay. Uh, But I just get that. Ni ser ju, det är ju väldigt tjockt, det är väldigt tjockt. Så man måste, ja precis, hämta något att få ut det. Så det, det ska inte vara, nu ni ska ni se, det, det är ingen, om ni har för mycket vätska så det blir det ju ganska mycket vätska och då är det, blir det bara rinnigt. Men det ska vara en, definitivt en sån tjock pasta. Smet som man kanske kallar det. Okay, and then again, Hello, Rosita. Did you ask, uh, did you travel to uh, Stockholm to see this show in Swedish? Hope you're having a great time. <laughs> You can you can just buy a, a ready-made fillet as well, right? Like if you like salmon, just buy your salmon. If you like tuna, just use tuna. It's uh, it's no problem. Yeah. So it's not it's not specific uh, fish. It's just to use a good quality fish. Use the fish you like, uh, and make a dish with it. Today we're using herrings. All right, almost done with it. Looks very good. So it's quite a thick of a paste, right? Oh, sorry? It's quite a thick of a paste, right? The paste, oh, it's the, the texture it's of the... Right now. Yeah, the texture is thick. Yeah, this... Look, it, it, when you mix with the um, coconut milk, it becomes like this, yeah? It's just well like this. And then I'm going to add uh, coconut milk in it. Uh, sorry, grated coconut. Yeah, the cocos rasplana. So I'm going to add 
i blandningen av kosmjölk med fisken. Och nu ska han eh, blanda ihop allting. Just leave this for a while because I'm going to prepare the onion. Nu ska jag skära upp löken och vi ska bara ha sätta till sidan fisken och låta den roa lite. And I'm just going to chunk it very roughly in this uh, blender. Mm -hmm. Okej, okay, nu ska uh, löken också blanda sig. Uh, Elias, do you, do you, would you, if you have given time, would you uh, marinate the fish before and not leave it no, to cool? No, 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 Okej, okay, så so det är ingen marinat som måste dras i en dag eller någonting. Så att det är bara att ta fisken och blanda ut den. The chili. Just like uh, ten of them. Okej, okay, kommer du ihåg innan sa han att det är ganska mycket chili nu. Det är som han skulle äta det. Så att ni måste inte ha tio nu här hemma. Um, ta så mycket som ni brukar ha. Chili är ju lite personlig smak. You can decide how many chilies uh, you like. Yeah? It's, uh, some chilies are hotter than the others, so you have to be careful with it. Okay, Victoria, you want even more chili. Ten chili is not enough, she said. Sorry? Victoria says from Holland, she, uh, she's telling you to put more chili. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I like Danny wants chili. really a lot of chili. <laughs> So when I mix this, I don't like it too fine eh? because when you bite it, you want to you want to taste the onion and everything. So don't don't make it a real paste. Yeah, just chunk. Okay, so, uh... Oh, so nam dana ba lite på löken. Den ska inte vara. Det ska vara inte en puré. Så det ska inte vara lika samma konsistens som det vi hade i fisken nu. Så det ska vara lite. Man ska ansa man ska känna lite smaken. Hi Ramat. Hope you're enjoying the show. All right, so here it goes. So nu blandar ni ihop. Nu är det ju, alltså det ni har nu här i den här potten om ni inte har kommit med. Det är ju fisken som han har blandat i uh, kokosmjölk. Och det, han sa att det kan vara vilken fisk som helst. Uh, det kan vara, alltså nu är det uh, sil vi har nu, men det kan vara tunt tuna. Det kan vara uh, lax, det kan vara... Vad ni vill. Alltså det kan vara den lax ni vill ha. Hur är det ihop med kokosmjölk och nu är det lök och kokosraspar i den också. So I'm going to use just about this much of uh, galangal. You don't want to use, to use too much, otherwise the taste is very dominant. Ja. Galangal har ju en, har en väldigt stark smak. Så den sa han, bara ta en liten om ni såg det så det var det bara väldigt lite. Och uh, det ska nu också in. Och det där är shrimp fästen. And, uh, and just, just a little bit of the, like this much, of uh, uh, front face. Front face. And then mash it together. Okej, okay. och nu blandar ni ihop uh, den här med shrimp face. That's it. Can mix with a bit of uh, coconut milk as well. Why are you putting the coconut milk in there? Yeah, just so, so you can uh, stir it thoroughly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. And now you put it in. Okay, 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 now you put it in. Och sen ska han blanda ihop allting. Och det var nu så att eh, när ni ofta tar och bara stoppar in det nu på toppen. Och 
vi blandar så blir det svårt att blanda allting. Det är mycket enklare att ha en smet som är redan blandad. Det är därför att separat kokostjönk med chili och när det var uh, förlåt, uh, shrimp paste och gallangal. And here goes the salt. Hey, greetings to Kuala Lumpur. Hi, City. Hi, City. How are you? All right. And then uh, just uh, just about one uh, one spoon of uh, tamarind. Ah, oh, was it an spoon of tamarind? And then just uh, half of the a lemon, yep. Okay, nu ska jag in lite citron, halva citronen. Så den här, det, det är ganska mycket sura smaker också. Det, men, alltså han tog ju inte så mycket. Men det är också ganska typiskt faktiskt för asiatisk kök. Att man har mycket surt och, eh, i smaken. Så det gör ju lite... Det blir ju starkare och smakfull, precis. Så det var tamarind och uh, citronen. Ja, precis, Nisha. Alltså det, det, ni kan ha vilken fisk ni har. Nu har han, han sa, alltså nu är det ju fin, men uh, det kan vara vilken fisk som helst. Right, I'll get some sugar. Fin. Ja, nu, nu ska jag hämta sockret och det är också faktiskt ganska typiskt uh, uh, för asiatiska köket i princip. Det är ju, alltså det är, som jag precis sa, det är ju tamarind och sen har man citronen som har den där sura smaken. Och sen är det väldigt vanligt att vi äter lite sött. Alltså nu är det socker och uh, för att ha den här kontrasten som vi drar smakerna i olika riktningar. Och det tycker jag, jag personligen tycker det är det som är så spännande med asiatiska köket. Det är det som gör lite explosionen. I smaken. Um, Hello, so we... greetings yeah. to Rebong. I hope you guys are doing great. Haven't seen you guys Hi. in a long, long time. Glad you're joining the stream. Hi. Uh, so now I'm going to add uh, about one tablespoon of sugar. Oh, this and and uh, with sugar. Precis som du sa. Nu har det faktiskt också, det är inte bara sut och så, äh, sött, det är också lite... Och sen är det med chilin som också gör äh, en helt annan... Jag tycker bara att sött, surt och... Jag menar, vi alla, lite, vi alla gillar ju sweet and sour äh, en chili. Det är ju bra. So actually you can taste here, or from here already, if uh, it's enough salt, or enough uh, lemon and everything. Yeah? Just put on the... Then you can taste. It's, it's really good. Uh -huh. How's it tasting? Yes. Yeah. So difficult. To, I, I would love to just bite it all now, right now. No, how it tastes. So we are about to wrap it. And uh, this is a very inter interesting uh, method of how traditional satar is is wrapped. Yeah. Okay. So as a new scan, I only look at the. The banana leaf. Go ahead, go ahead. You cut it about 15, 15 centimeter uh, bread um, um, width, and um, this you you just leave uh, the length as it is. Normally, you can get uh, coconut uh, coconut uh, sorry, uh, banana leaves in all over Europe from any Asian store, but make sure you um, clean it very thoroughly first. And then you have to put on fire for a while, really like a few minutes. You just go through like this. Otherwise it's hard, it will break very hard, very easily. So you just go like this, uh, back and front, just like this. And then well, you your stove, is, it, your stove yeah? is on right now. This is not the very good one. I'll, I'll choose the good one. So you just make a cone. Like this. Oh, I see anyone here. Yeah. Also, they're super cool. Yeah, just just about like this. Okay, it looks it looks beautiful. And now we're gonna uh, put in the filling. Okay. Yeah. And then make sure you 
press the the bottom yeah fill fill up this one okay so nu tog han ju bananbladet som finns i mycket asiatiska här och nu tog han det över hetsen och nu ska han pressa in all fisken vi precis gjorde det är så coolt I actually forgot to put this, so I, I can add this later. This red, the first one. So make sure it's like, but full like this. Okay, and then you can the see the joining part. here, yeah? You can see the joining here. Here is where you have to pull. So. And then second. And then third, and then here, push first, and then so. And then you use this uh, stick and poke right in the middle. In Malaysia, they use a long one so you can grill it. Eh? But here, because I don't have the, the barbecue, Make sure when you poke it, it goes through like this. So you see, it's, it's tight. Okay. So, um, so the pins will hold everything together. Yeah. Ja, ni tjejer, jag tycker det, det är så spännande. Jag, jag glömde nästan prata. Det var ju bara, ja, vi bara titta vad det han gör. Alltså, det var ju, det där var coolt. So this is the first one. Um, I need to add this... Uh, I forgot just now to add the... So what you did, you took like all ingredients and just and added to the bowl and mix it up. And now we put them yeah. in the banana leaf, right? Also did they 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 come here come yoga, so they were blended uh pureed to smear fisk me cooks and Satt in, alltså det var ju chili och socker och uh, citron, tamarin och nu uh, koriander eller persilja, vad, vad det är ni har i. Och sen... Uh, so I'm going to use this uh, my uh, grill pan. Ja, nu tar, ska vi ta ett grill pan. Vi, vi har ju inget grill här i mitt i huset, det skulle vara, det skulle vara för coolt. And then we go for the second one, yeah? Look very carefully. Turn it. So. And then press to the bottom. And then second one. Oh, is it very important to do it in two goes, Ilias? Sorry? It's very, it's important to do it in two goes. Like I, so I saw you like put in one and then you press it down and you add it more and press it down again. It's, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you it has to be very handle. firm, right? It, yeah, you have to, to, to really um, feel the end here. If you put in one go, mm -hmm. it doesn't go to the end. So here okay. has to be filled as well, yeah? yeah? Ja, så han, han stoppar in det två, i två omgångar så att det, ska vara, det måste vara, uh, det måste vara uh, uh, ganska firm på uh, engelska. Uh, det måste vara uh, tjockt, det kan inte vara för den som bryter det nog. Och, ja, det ska ju vara, det ska, det ska bli en bild på slutet. This one I can start slowly already on the grill. So we can continue the third one. I have, you have the grill on high heat. heat. Because sometimes when you buy a banana leaves from the shop, they're already damaged. They, it's broken everywhere. 
So you really have to uh, choose the part you can use. Okay, the answer obviously is that the uh, banana, uh, banana, uh, bladen. So they often that they're a little slight, na, and they don't have to. They have reached a very long way often. Um, så att man får ju lite välja så att de är fina och inte eh, till dig Det skulle ju vara för, för synd för fisken vi förlorar. Uh, I had a quick question. Uh, is, is your, uh, the, the pan, the grill, is it on high heat right now? Is that the maximum? Uh, I put it on medium. It's like three. Okay, medium. Because it has to, yeah, you, you, don't, you don't want to burn it uh, too quickly. Yeah. Så so, han har det på medium. Uh, Hets, hetsa. Um, så det, det ska inte bränna så blad det går ju sönder ganska snabbt om det är för hög temperatur. Och det är ju samma. Vi, vi vill inte ta, ta blad som är uh, slitna. Men vi vill ju inte förstöra det bara med egen panna. Så att, var lite försiktiga. Det är, ganska, det är ju tunt. Det är bara blad. Då måste man ju komma ihåg. So I'll make one more. Okay. Oh, hey, CD. You, you tried to watch uh, the show yesterday, but I hope you came back. I, I'm happy you came back today. Hope you're enjoying it. Even if you thought it was yesterday. So this you can go on uh, wrapping all of it, you know, like uh, it doesn't take so much time. And when you grill it, it's always better if you uh, if you cover it. Okay, and so precisely that he must have precisely he must have have something lock on something. So inside you will take it uh, thoroughly, yeah. Okej, okay, uh, alltså vi ska ha typ fånga i hetsen så att verkligen allt går in i, um, in i fisken i, i det här uh, paketet. Uh, Elias, we have got so a quick question. Um, can you, can you uh, use a normal frying pan or uh, uh, you, the grill no. in the oven if you don't have like a proper... Grilling pan? No, oven, it will make the uh, the fish dry. Yeah? This, that's why you, you need either to put it on barbecue or on the grill pan. What, what, uh, the sound dropped out. It was the, the grill pan or the alternative was? Barbecue. Uh, barbecue. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I barbecue is the, best, the yeah? grill pan or the barbecue. The oven will be yes. dry. Yeah. Yeah, okay, too dry. Because you need, you need to when you open it, you need moist in the in your mm. satar. So that's the best way to cook uh, satar. Because even in in uh, Trungano, in uh, the uh, northern part of Malaysia, the the northern part is in quality. Trungano people uh, people prefer it more uh, dry, and the um, southern part we like it. Uh, Uh, moisty. It's, it's, it's nice, nice and juicy when you eat it. Okay, så att frågan var precis om man nu uh, om man inte har en sån juicy grillpanna, uh, om man kan ta något annat. Och han säger uh, det, det måste borde vara en uh, en sån grillpanna eller grillen är ute grill eller någonting. Uh, ugnen går inte så bra för det blir för kort. Um, och sen sa han precis att det är också lite, nu är det lite olika uh, beroende på vilken, uh, uh, vilken ort du är i uh, Malaysia. Alltså Norden, de gillar det faktiskt lite tårare. Men uh, i söder så vill de ha lite saftigare och då är det definitivt viktigt att ha grillen så att det inte blir uttorkad i ugnen till exempel. Så att när man öppnar det så ska ju fuktigheten ska fortfarande vara i där. Så so you need to keep turning, yeah? Four angles, so that's why it's it's like this. So 
look how easy it is to turn. Okej, okay, så nu, nu håller han på att vända dem. Det ska vara fyra del. Alltså det ska vara alltid... Fyra gånger måste vi vända det så att alla sidorna är gjorda. Ja, yeah, so chef, chef Elias, minutes, jag kan inte kompliment på Josata. Sorry? Beautiful. Josata looking beautiful. Thank you. Greetings from the comments. Hi. Uh, it takes about five to seven minutes. Yeah? If ten minutes, it will be too long. Okay, so uh, in, what what do you say? Uh, I, I didn't get the number. It was like roughly seven to ten minutes all in total. Um, you can see the by the look of the banana skin. You don't you don't want the banana the banana skin to be too burnt. Then is the okay. sign that it's is overcooked. So the banana skin has to be just right. Yeah. Okay. So uh, han använder bananbladen för att se om uh, verkligen om det är färdigt eller inte. Alltså det ska, om det är för om det kokar för länge så går ju bananbladet sönder och har blivit grillad och är helt ute. Och då har ni gjort det för länge. Så att vi kan bara titta så att bananbladet är lite grillad, lite fin och sen bara snurra på den. Normal frying pan, a pan is Maybe it's it's a flat one, yeah, but not not the wok. Uh, you you cannot uh, bake it in the wok. Okay, uh, okay. So you can you don't actually need a grilling pan. It could be a, a normal flat pan as well. Yeah, normal flat pan. Maybe it's possible. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Okay. Hello, Debbie, and hello, ZT again. Yeah, he, uh, she's uh, commenting, saying you, you, you actually paint and do sculptures as well. You're like, uh, yes, I not do. just a food artist. Y yes, I, I, I teach art as well. Yeah? You teach so art? This is just part time hobby. Okay, yo, awesome. This, Where do you teach art? Then? This is the background. This is one of my land. Cool. And all, all this, all this you see on the table is. It's my own way. I, I made it awesome. myself. Awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So I should, like, I should uh, actually get all my, my plates I, from you I then. Made it if, if people want a special design or special color or printed one, so they just order a set so I can make it. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I don't know if I had... I, 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 uh, there was someone who told me precisely that he is a artist. Och kan göra alla skulpturer och tala alla tallrikar ni ser här. Om man har gjort själv. Alltså han gör inte bara film av. Det är coolt. So this smells really good now. I just uh, let it just a little bit longer. Then we can uh, open one of them. And have a look how it looks inside. Oh yes, I'm excited. The smell goes up to every day that's already in it. Yeah, I, I can't wait for the day like when you can actually not just see what you're doing, like can actually smell it. Because that would be like, I mean, I understand we can't taste it, but uh, just like smelling going over that uh, table. So now you get there, you have all the recipes already, you can just give a go. Very easy, less than one hour. So now like, I still have so much time to kill. Okay, uh, Ilyas, uh, um, Nasha is asking um, if you can explain a bit more where uh, Sata is from. Where Sata is from? Like, like the history of Sata, how, how was, was it created? When? Uh, Sata is very old traditional recipe. Eh? It's been more than 100 years already. As long as uh, Tunganu exists, this, this is already exists together with the uh, um, people of Tunganu, because uh, Tunganu people from the uh, east coast of Malaysia, they are known for the love for fish. They are like Sardinia people. They cannot live without fish. Yeah? So they use fish in the morning as breakfast. They use fish in the afternoon for lunch. And they use fish for dinner as well. So sometimes you just grill the fish and you make the sauce and you just sit down and just enjoy fish. That's it, on the beach. Okay. Yeah, good. So, so it's like uh, the coast food. 
Yeah. So for, and, would you uh, say it's a lot of people who eat up holidays because you go to the sea and that would enjoy like all day? Yes, long. exactly. Yeah. So uh, since we still have time to kill, I want to show you another method of preparing uh, this. Uh, we in Tungano normally we use uh, uh, like big chili like this. It's either green or, or, or yellow chili. So you just cut right in the middle here. And and this one I already boiled for a while. Eh? So it's uh, when you cut it, it doesn't break. So you just fill with uh, the stuff you have left. And but this one we don't call sata anymore. We call it solo. But it's still the same thing. It's only wrapped in different uh, cover. Okay, so sata is like explicitly wrapped in banana leaf. Yeah, and this one is like you solo, can use, use solo what? is when you, you put in the in the chili. Like that. And you always it's you always yeah. use it always chilies. You don't use other vegetables sometimes. Um, no, not that I know. This is the okay. the. The normal way we use it. So this one, either you can steam it or you can grill it. It just it tastes just the same. Okay, so now we have another variant. So the kahu also is very practical for those who maybe don't find banana blade in all the flavors. One, this is where we put chili, squeeze it out, and now we take same so the same blending as we had in Sata. Och uh, stoppa so det in det i en chili. Yeah. We can check now. Okay. So I'll show you how it is. It should it should look like inside. So it should I look want to get the camera. Over. I want to see more. Yeah. Beautiful. So you can see. But if 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 you prefer it more um, well done, you know, it's, it's it's your choice. But for me, I I like it like this. It's not too dry and it's just it's just a uh, moist thing. Yeah, um, like it moist and uh, not too dry. Look, yeah. When when I you open like this, you that. can see inside is well is well cooked. Let me try it. Mm. Oh, you have a smoke at it out. Also. Okay. I will let my cameraman try it. Okay. <laughs> Can I be on a cameraman next time? The cameraman. Mmm. <laughs> Is it? Mmm. So well. Oh, this is a little bit of tofu. It's not used to it. Uh, it's not used to it. So what were you saying? He said it's too hot. You can see by the look at the at, at the skin, yeah. So uh, if it was if, too if much chili for him. Like if the color is like this, it, it it should be all right already, unless you want it more um, more dry. Okay, okay. So, uh, I'm visa representative. I I told you first that I'm uh, starting from a chili for color man. Um, Uh, men när han visar det precis det eh, bananen så var lite brunt och då är den nog ganska färdig. And now the plating. Painting as well. Um, let me uh, turn the, the camera. Oh, I, I was, I didn't say, I, I, I obviously love your painting. I was talking about uh, plating. It looks like you are starting to uh, make your art oh. on the plate. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, no. no worries. It's 
great. We, everybody loves to watch some art, I suppose. What do you eat uh, sata with them? We, we just eat like this. It's just snack. You can use a snack or appetizer. Okay. Yeah? You just start with it, nothing else. Ja, annars är det ser väldigt gott ut. Det är, det är alltid, man, man måste börja ta från uh, maten som ligger där. Och vad funkar bara inte så bra. <laughs> ja, och uh, så att det äter man uh, sådär. Uh, det, something det, like det, ota ota. Uh, actually, ota ota is uh, different spices, yeah. And uh, ota ota you you put in the banana, uh, sorry, coconut leaf. The taste is totally different from sata because um, uh, ota ota you use like uh, the spices for a uh, curry, and um, sata is much more simple than that. It's just a few ingredients without any um, spices for uh, for making curry. Okay, okay. Sounds good. But it's actually the same process then. To make ota ota. Titi Manaf, um, hi. Uh, you can try this now so you don't have uh, to wait for me to come back. Because... Um, Everything has been explained already how to make it. That looks really fascinating. <laughs> the um yeah. so but you know how you said earlier in Malaysia they have like really long like skewers? Yes, you, so you, you can put like 10 of them together. But wow. normally when you buy it, it's much smaller than this. So uh -huh. uh, they just use like one tablespoon of, uh, of, of fish inside. So you when you open it, you just get about this size of sata. Oh. Oh, you know, right. that, that, and this is a really old version that the size of 100 years ago. Uh, I, I, I don't like the small one because it dries. Normally, it is very dry because it, it's very quick uh, on the fire. When you, yeah. you have uh, this size, it's, it's very juicy. Like, uh, it mm. tastes like a real sata. Sata for business, normally the quality and the more coconut than fish. Which the real sata, the amount, the um, the fish uh, has Many to be about two, fish, right? Yeah, the fish has to be at least two thirds, and coconut only yeah. one third. Yeah, yeah. So that's, yeah. that's the right portion for real sata. So I, saw, I, saw, I saw that you used uh, freshly grated coconut. Is it fresh or yeah. frozen? Can you use no, it's fresh. I, I, I bought I bought real coconut. Oh it's wow! Just the, right, just the right age, you know. It's not too old. It's not it's not too young. And then the sweetness comes from the coconut itself already. So delicious. Can you use a uh, desiccated coconut because, like you know, <laughs> in Australia it's very hard yeah, to get if fresh. You, if you can't find the fresh one like this, you just use the the the, the normal dry grated great coconut as well. But you make sure you add extra uh, coconut milk in it because it's too dry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the, the fresh one has already uh, juice in it. Sure, sure. Um, and also, it's interesting because um, usually when I make fish paste, I, I yeah. either add a bit of tapioca starch to make it stick together, or in the no, case of no, not in tata. You don't, you don't want to spoil it. Yeah. When you put karopo, then, then you use it. Okay. Kropo, because, because kropo, you you need to roll it, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and sometimes you just scoop it, scoop it in the in the in the, uh, in the cone. So you okay. you don't you don't need to, to, to have a special 
uh, uh, strong texture. Sure, then, sure. Then you will because the, because the leaf keeps it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. And also, you know, your solo ladder, how you stuff yeah. it in. Yes, yeah. that's usually, I, I had it in Kelantan where they eat it with nasi krabu. Do they do that in Trungganu yeah. as well? Or, okay, yeah. okay. The, uh, yeah. Elliot, so it's just exactly the same way of preparing. It's just okay. as you eat uh, And uh, in East Coast, you always have two versions. Yeah? They, they, some people prefer uh, steamed version, but I, I find a uh, grilled version is, is much tastier. Interesting, interesting. Because mm. um, uh, yeah. with salt lada, I've had it like made where they where they simmer it in coconut milk. Do you do that yeah. in Trungganu as well or no? The um, yeah, Eli, uh, have you had uh, nasi krabu? Uh, I'm I know I've I had it. I'm just I can't I, right now. I can't picture what it really actually was. Okay. So, like nasi krabu. Uh, na nasi krabu is like a rice dish. And the rice is blue in color. You haven't had the blue oh, rice? No, I, no? I haven't okay. had blue rice yet. No, that yeah, sounds yeah. so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but that's uh, they usually serve it with that uh, the stuffed chili with the fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay. let's have a look. Okay, let me remove so, myself. So nasi crab, yeah, okay, nasi, of course, yeah. Yeah, nasi the whole crab meal is not. It's, it's not oh. just a, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, it's actually like a set set dish with a salt ladder. Okay, let me just get rid of So this is done as well. So that's uh, the salt ladder. And how long does it take? Is that also the roughly the same time as the sata? Just about the same time. Yeah. So, uh, but normally when people uh, steam it, they, they let it about like at least 15 minutes uh, in the steamer. When, okay. when I make fish, I don't like it overcooked. I, I, I like to taste mm. the freshness of the fish, you know, because all the yeah. ingredients, all the lemon taste, inside then it, it doesn't disappear too much no? yeah yeah i get that you you want it fresh not like it, you want to have like soft and like all the tastes and not you don't want to have that like cooked away everything no i i don't i don't like it that way but some people do some people yeah. find it too uh, it, it's not well done you know you know is oh. it yeah people have different tastes so even like um um steak as well some people like it tender medium and some people like it really well done so it's the same way of uh, preparing sata as well people can decide what, what they like the, the best sounds good sounds good yep um, um, en uh, affär i Stockholm eh, och står, det står i kommentarerna som eh, segelstorg eh, och där kan man få alla ingredienser det, det låter ju coolt alltså, att, att ha en svensk affär som har alla ingredienser det är inte så enkelt att hitta alltså, i Tyskland, eh, jag, jag vet det, det, det finns ju en liten affär som man kan få det men det är inte alls så enkelt det är coolt tack för kommentarerna kanske cool okej okay. uh, Sorry. That, yeah, that looks amazing. As usual, by the way, guys, like uh, someone mentioned earlier, Elias Mohamed is a very, very talented artist based in the Netherlands, and he does amazing artwork, but we really need to see some more of his artwork one day. <laughs> but uh, and Elias mm -hmm. Morat is another one of our extremely talented young chefs, up and coming chefs. So we'd love to see you cook something. Um, yeah, maybe uh, when he's got a bit more time, he's in the middle of moving houses at the moment, which is why. Yeah. He's, and I he's, here in the back, I yeah, used to like put my spices me, and like, uh, it's empty. Cooking for me is like therapy. Yeah? When I'm in the kitchen, yeah. when yeah. I do new dishes, I my mind is at peace, you know, like, uh, and um, I'm very, very particular about what goes into my body. And I like all yeah. the fresh ingredients. And I like to choose all the things that is, is mostly uh, all the health, healthy stuff, 
you know, I hardly eat outside because I don't trust what people <laughs> put all inside the food. So for me, it's the Very best solution is just to create my own recipe and and to enjoy all the fresh ingredients that I like the best. So yeah. uh, this and you have enjoyable. It definitely tastes better when you cook it yourself. I would say. Yeah. <laughs> Very satisfying. So, uh, but I, I, I'm a really um, a, a real typical Tronganu uh, uh, person who loves um, fish the most. So I'll, I, I can eat fish every day, and um, like, and I cook uh, Asian like four or five times a week, and then two days a week I, uh, uh, I just try European, like French, Italian. Nice, nice, very cool. That's I want to ask you one question about the satar. If you can't get banana leaves, what would you do? Uh, some people wrap it in the, um, how do you call it, uh, popia, popia wrap. Ah. You can use that as well. Yeah, and then, and then just okay. deep fry in, the, uh, in, in, uh, in oil. Just, just like any shape you like, like uh, popia shape. Or yeah. like uh, a samosa shape, and then okay. um, there's another option. Okay, so that's spring roll wrap. Uh, how, how would you say that yeah. in Swedish, uh, Eli? I'm actually not sure. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't think I've like actually seen popia. Like you have never seen anything like that. The difference between popia and usually it's when you find, popia, I, I think I no. Yes, I think I, I've so, I've seen it at the supermarket. Um, yes, yeah, so they, uh, but you, also, on, um, you also can do it just like a burger, right? You just wrap, make, make a ball in your hand, and then just just put and and, and eat as burger. It's very nice as uh, well. Okay, that yeah. sounds good as well. Yeah, you just okay, get, so, um, just get a handful and 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 shape it, you know, like uh, and then put it on the grill. Okay. Cool. So, uh, for yeah. for me, it's not There was an. Det är ju inte alltid enkelt att hitta bananblad. Så att han sa precis, man, man kan hitta, om man hittar uh, vårrullar, bara pappret, pappret till vårrullarna, så kan man också ta blandningen. Det är som, som han tar chili, han tar chili, stoppar in blandningen, nu kan man ta bananblad och stoppa in blandningen. Och enkelt kanske är det för att bara ta ett uh, vårrullsblad och sen uh, uh, det? fryer uh, den i kastrullen. Eller som gör en burger, alltså bara ta, inte stoppa in någonting, bara göra en, en boll och sen uh, ha den i pannan och det, det låter också väldigt gott. Okej, okay, cool. Um, yeah, well, that, that looks amazing. Uh, guys, for those of you who haven't already signed up, make sure you sign up at malaysianchefs.com slash join today and we will send out Elias's recipe to you as soon as possible, okay? Um, yeah, thanks again, Elias Muhammad, for cooking this. And Bye. Elias, thanks uh, everybody for watching. For, and I uh, hope to see you guys soon. Yeah, and Nasha has given us the word for spring roll. Uh, if, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, that's correct. <laughs> okay, cool. Right here. Well, I will uh, bump us out with Tourism Malaysia. And guys, next week's session, I will be cooking again, but at a different okay. time slot. Make sure you guys. Uh, check your emails for the next session okay we're going to have it a little bit earlier in the day to suit me because i'm in australia and it's uh, nearly four o'clock in the morning here <laughs> all right thanks again everyone for okay. tuning in thanks, uh, thanks, thanks jackie thanks a lot have a bumper thank you